Let's find the derivative right here. y is equal to x times e to the negative kx. Usually when you see x and y in the equation, those are the variables. And when you see other letters, such as this one, k in this case is considered to be a constant, just like number 6. However, just do the derivative right here. Let's see what happens. This is the product of two functions, so we have to use the product rule. We will go ahead, keep our first function, which is x, and we multiply by the derivative second, and the derivative e to the something, you just first repeat, it's e to the same thing, e to the negative kx. But then, you have to look into the exponent, and then because of the chain rule, because of the chain rule, you have to take the derivative of this. This is just like negative 6x, and the derivative of that is just going to be negative 6. In this case, we are talking about k, so negative kx has a derivative of negative k. And we'll just have to multiply by negative k because of the chain rule. Okay? And then we're going to add the second function, which is e to the negative kx, multiply by the derivative of the first, which is just going to be 1. And that's pretty much it. A few things that we can do is this. Of course, here we can write the negative k first because that's the constant, and then x, and then e to the negative kx. And here we have plus e to the negative kx. And another thing that we can possibly do is both of them have e to the negative kx. So we can factor this out. I can look at this, look at that, factor it out. I can factor this out. Negative e to the e to the negative kx. And then the leftovers are negative kx plus we have a 1 left. And this right here will be the answer.